Hey guys, this is Renee. I'm just going to make you a video and, well, I'm going to make a video showing you how to make this cute snowman card. This is made with the Hero Arts, uh, I believe this is a retired set, but you can still find it. I got mine on Amazon.ca. Um, keep an eye on the stamp and die sets because they go on sale for really good prices. I got this one for around $15 for the stamps and dies. So, it's the Hero Arts Sizzix collection and it is, is the, I can't tilt it to that angle, sorry. It's Snowman number two set. So I'll be using the dies and the stamps in this set. Then the other thing you're going to need is a black ink such as Memento. I'm doing a little tiny bit of alcohol marker coloring so I'm using Memento. Um, then you'll need, well, you know, stamp blocks and stuff. But you'll also need a dark blue paper. This one's just a Recollections um, from Michaels. Um, I've said before, I really like their paper. Because it's cheap. And because it's good. And then I'm also using some white paper. This is 100 pound uh, cardstock from Staples. It's a really nice thick paper. It does bleed a little bit with markers. If you can see, I just gotta turn it this way. Um, you can see right on the edges it does bleed. Um, the other things you'll need, I used a Versa marker. Um, you can also, if you have the pad, you can also use the pad. Uh, I just happen to have the marker that I found in the clearance bin at Michael's. And it's really easy for doing, if you can see, there's a slight shimmer on my snowbank. But that's what we're going to use that for. Then, of course, I'm using my new favorite stencil, which is the Simon Says Stamp. Uh, where is it? Anyway, it's the Falling, st falling Snow Stencil. You guys have all seen this on other cards by now. I love this stencil. I'm also going to be using this Wink of Stella Clear Marker. Um, I think I have something else that could work for that, but I'll have to test it out and then I can show you in another video. I'll also be using this Crystal Silver Mika Powder. Now, I got mine from Coastal Scents. You can get um, a tape, well, you can see how much is left in this bag. And I've used a good bit of this. This is a dollar. They're really, really, really cheap. And they have decent shipping to Canada as well. These are makeup grade, so you can use them as eyeshadow as well. Then I'm going to be using this WOW Clear Hologram Sparkle Embossing Powder. And... That'll be it. That's all I'm using. Alright, so, is we're going to stamp our snowman. That sounded awful, sorry. Uh, I put my snowman in upside down so they all fell out. I'm going to be using all of the dies except for the holly die and stamp. And that's just because the colors did not fit with what I wanted. So, where's my... So I'm just using this fist scars because, oops, it's the only, well, I like it for one thing. And it is the only um, stamp block I have big enough for the snowman. Now, you don't have to use this snowman set if you don't have it. Because you can really use any snowman set. I uh, had another one taken out, yes. So, 
Like if you use this, you could just stamp him, color him in, and then fussy cut him. And you could use this snowman instead. I have other snowman sets as well because I like snowmen. So, I wonder if I can stamp more than one of these at once. Let's try. Because that would save me some time. So, now I do have to die cut these, so I have to keep them a little bit spaced. I mean, I can always uh, cut them more than one time, but there we go. So, yeah. Oh, actually, that was supposed to go there. Uh, yeah. It's okay, now I have an extra face. There's nothing wrong with having more than one face. Now the only thing with these, they're rubber stamps of course, so you can't really see what you're doing. I like that. Oh, am I off camera? Sorry. Now there is, um, I seen on Nicole McGurk had a video and she had a set very similar to this. It's the second set and I really want to get it. It has a sketched scarf and hat and it fits the dies that come with this set. So it's a hero art set and I really want to get that set so I can have it with this one because she made a gorgeous card with hers. Now this didn't completely stamp perfectly but I don't um, I don't mind because I'm going to put some of that shimmer pen over it after and let me just put this through my cuddle bug and just pop it out through the bottom and now we're just oh and I'm also using uh, some alcohol markers so I'm using this is the only Copic marker that I have and it's C1 the cool gray so I'm just going to use that to quickly put in some shading on the snowman. So that's our shaded snowman. Now another thing you could do with the scarf is you could, um, that glare is really bad, I'm sorry. Let me zoom in some you can paper piece this so you can put it on pattern paper so I'm just going to color that real quick so that we can get it done let's see so I've got sky blue oh oh can't find the camera royal blue orange and french vermilion so let's start with the snowman's nose because he's the easiest. And now I'm just going to glue it on. Now, when I tried last time to glue on the scarf, and I put glue, uh, my glue, my ATG gun, it ripped off the uh, um, <laughs> some of the back. So 
I'm not going to try that this time. I'm just going to use glue. Alright, so that just goes there like that. And then for his hat, oops, sorry, these little rec recollections ones. Which, by the way, if you buy them, you have to run them upside down. Do not use them like this. They go like this. Because I ruined my first one using them the wrong way. So that hat just goes there. And then we're just going to put some glue on the back. And it doesn't really matter. The arms are both the same. So you just stick them on how you like them. And that's our snowman. Really simple. Okay, so now we're going to do the background of the card. So I'm using my Fiskar paper trimmer. And I'm using a... I'm using a Michaels 5 and a, let me just zoom out a little, out, Michaels 5 and a half by 5 and a half square card base. So I'm going to cut um, the blue paper to 5 and a quarter by 5 and a quarter. this cutter it used to fray everything and I didn't realize it was because the blade was dull and then I tried a new blade and that's my new favorite trimmer all right so to make the pattern paper or the uh, snowflake background we're going to put our stencil I don't bother taping down the paper because I'm taping down the stencil I didn't quite get the stuff from last time Now, again, I'm just going to use, actually, this, where is my masking tape? Gone. That's, okay. I'll use washi tape again, or whatever. Forgot you'll also need some modeling paste. Or you can use embossing paste if you have that. And you'll need just um, an old card. Now I'm going to try a slightly different method this time. Last time I mixed in the glitter powder with the embossing with the modeling paste. I'm going to try something a bit different this time. It might not work, so we'll see. This time I'm just going to cover in all the holes. You do not need much embossing uh, or this uh, modeling paste. All right, I'm gonna go wash this stencil and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I forgot that huh, I was gonna show a different, I was gonna try a different method for um, putting the shimmer in that snow. Uh, I had planned to leave the stencil on and then dust the makeup powder or that, that shimmer powder over the stencil so it would just get the um the snow dots but i forgot and i took the stencil off so we're just going to leave it how it is um the first method i did was i took this powder and i mixed it into my paste and that does work it gives a subtle shimmer so i guess i'll have to wait until next time to try that other method now um we actually have to wait for this to dry but while we do that, we're going to cut our snow hill. Now, this is actually the one I used last time, so I can cut this and use this as a guide again. So what I'm going to do is first I'm just going to cut that so it's straight. Then we can take that, put it there, and all I do... 
So we don't want it too much. That looks high enough to me. And I just use a pencil. I'm going to use my scissors. I'm just going to cut that out. I'm going to fast forward through this part so you don't need to watch it. Okay, so that's the snowbank. Um, and I will be back because all we need to do now is put this card together. Actually, we can do one thing right now. So, we're going to put the snowman on the card. Oh. There. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shade the snowman a little with that same gray Copic marker. So I'm just going to put him down, see roughly where he is. And then we're going to color under him. Just so he looks like he's standing in the snow. And now we're going to stamp the sentiment. I used this one right here, making spirits bright. And I really like this stamp set. This is also a close to my heart one. And I'm going to stamp that in me memento black. Although actually, I'm not. I'm going to stamp it in this outdoor denim, which matches that blue color, I think. So I'm going to do a test stamp first. But I think it will be a little bit nicer than the black. Yeah, I like that. So it's almost black, but it's not quite as um, dark. So we're going to put our snowman back just so that we can see it's balanced. And that's stamped really well. I like that. Now we're going to glue our snowman to, uh, to the to the snowbank. And all I do is I put a little bit of glue at the bottom, and then I just stick him on. Now um, push all the glue stuff underneath so he's not sticky in the front. You don't want that. Oh, actually, before we do that, there is one more thing. Because I said we were going to emboss the emboss the top of the snowbank. So we can still do that, that's fine. So I'm going to take my Versamark pen, my, my Versamarker, and I'm going to get my wow embossing powder ready. So I'm just going to quickly do the top of the snowbank. You can also, like I said, do the, the same thing with the, the pad. I just find this is quick. Oh, oops, do not do that. Now, if you guys have those static pads, you might want to use them. I, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no, don't. I don't have one, so I can't use them. Okay, so you can see the glitter on the end there. Apparently this holographic one looks really nice on black. So we're just going to stick our snowman there. And now all we need to do, 
and I can't do it yet because this is still wet. So when this dries, we're going to adhere it all together. And I'm pausing. Hello, so I'm back. Now, let me just zoom out for a second. That's in. Um, so this is dry now. And I noticed something. This is the other one that I did. And this is the new one. I don't know if you can tell on camera so much. This one here, the white dots are a lot more opaque. You can see how opaque these ones are compared to these ones. You can see the blue comes through a bit on these. And these are the ones where I included, like I mixed in this uh, silver powder. So I think this silver powder actually made it more opaque. So I'll be doing this if I make this kind of card again. I'll be adding this directly. So we're just going to put our card together now. So we've got our snowman. And we're going to put foam tape on him. We've got our background. So now I'm just going to fold my card. These don't always go the way you think they will. They kind of uh, curve a certain way. So you kind of got to look at the curve. Now, where's that bone folder? There we go. So, before I do anything else, I'm just going to adhere this down. So you just try to make the edges even. We're going to put some foam and as you can see I'm kind of low but I have more. So we're just going to stick this to the card, and that's almost it. So now all you do is you line it up at the bottom. Press down, and you're done. Except for, we're going to grab that wink of Stella marker, and we're just going to color in his nose, his scarf, and his head. And that's it. Super simple. Well, okay, it's not a super simple card, but it is an easy card. Um, now you could add some sequins if you want, but I'm just going to leave this one how it is. Um, like I said, when I make this again, I will be doing what I did on this one, and I will put this directly into it. Sorry, bad glare, bad glare. And thanks for watching. I hope you guys attempt to make this. Um, I really suggest picking up the Simon Says Stamp Falling Snow stencil. You will love it when you get it. The Wink of Stella pens are great too. I am going to try a method using these. Um, and I have a whole bunch of different colors in these. And if it works, I will let you know. Thanks for watching. This is Renee. Have a good night.